Well, okay, I'm Chris Pulsen and I've got myself an, uh, a floating caravan. The floating caravan works on uh, a setup of four car batteries, means 48 volts. And I need myself a compressor. A UN uh, conventional uh, fridge compressor runs on 230 volts alternating, which is something I don't have over there. So what I want to do is to convert this setup connected to a washing engine. Why? Because those you can connect to uh, 48 volts DC, which I have, and still delivers the amount of torque on the compressor, which I need for the systems on board. On my floating survival unit, there will be lots of machines, and some of them need to work on the um, Prometics compressed air cylinders. Therefore, you need a compressor which needs to work on a lower voltage and I'm going to show you how you can connect the compressor part of a bridge compressor to the axle of this washing machine properly and after the, this part has been connected onto here I can drop it into the oil container again because the compressor the unit part needs to be oiled the whole time. That's part one. My plan is to use this thick piece of metal, cut bits out of it and mount it one strip over here and there. After I did that I will use those these supports connect all the metal strips like so three of them and on turn I will connect those onto here because I've got enough metal to uh, wire thread myself a bigger hole so I will now start with cutting the strip and mount it on the engine without damaging the inside and only on a piece of metal that is thick enough because we do not want the whole thing to break off well, he goes. Well, I've got two strips. I want to connect mount the strips over here like so. But it's not entirely straight. You can see it needs to become this, but it is this. Now I'm going to use the grinder and make this edge a little bit more straight. Like so. This will take some of my concentration so I cannot hold the cam. I just uh, flatten out the edges. Now I can place those two strips over there. And as you can see, now they are straight. Leveled. My next job will be to drill holes into here and here. And also in the strip. Put bolts to it. And then I will have my stable base. Where on terms I can connect the three bolts on. When drilling, always use some kind of uh, lubricant, oil, animal grease. I don't know, want to know where they got it from. So I actually measured the sizes and I need to drill four holes. Like so. Obviously, it's gonna take some time, so I'll show it when it's done. I just use this bit to make an etched side to the hole. So when I put in those screws like so, they will basically disappear into the metal. Because when I'm going to install these upon here, and the compressor will fit on it, the metal must be flat, or else you will have some uh, problems.
Black Show, one, two, and three times. So one more with this. Well, I just finished drilling the three holes with a drill of 8.5 millimeters. Now I'm going to use him. I don't know what's the word for this. Now you must be pretty gentle. Don't do any twerks. Make sure you drill straight into the hole. And always set your drill to a certain size of strength so that the torque of the battery the cannot can't break this uh, big bastard because these are pretty expensive. And you don't want to break it into the hole because then you uh, you can never get it out again. So always be very gentle when you are using these cutting uh, tools into your power tool. I just finished cutting wire inside the steel. You should know this is very low quality steel. So tapping wire into it will be very easy because the metal gives way very easily as soon as you start cutting. Well great. Well those actually fit. Well that's cool. The uh, next job is to determine how long these must be, so I'll remove it again and we'll measure it before I start cutting. When you start drilling in an axle, the axle might rotate and it will snap your drill, so you must lock it in position before you start drilling. But before you do, make sure you use the angle grinder to smoothen out a little bit so you can easily drill exactly on the spot. The axle is actually a tube because due to the rotational forces it can suck oil up the piston part. Uh, so this is basically also a uh, lubrication system. Now I cannot have a hollow axle that I will accept within the pressure power of 3 volts. So I will fill it up with a piece of metal just to make sure that the axle when the bolts get uh, Tensionized doesn't get squeezed. Now I can actually put high tension on it. So I just um, hand manually positionized the setup over here. Use the red marker instead when I have to drill. Now I will drill these holes big enough so I can do final adjustments, which which are pretty essential. Because you have to line out the whole thing. Now I'm going to drill holes into the steel, tap wire into it, and make the holes inside of them. This thing a little bit bigger, so I have an ability to adjust. The axle of the compressor is way smaller than the diameter meter of this hole. Uh, and we are working with uh, the rotational forces. A tiny amount of deviation will cause uh, friction, which I do not, uh, which we do not want. So uh, I'm going to plug in a rubber in here, just a piece of hose. I'm going to put the axle in there. This will solve my friction problems. When you uh, tighten the bolts over here, when you are uh, executing this procedure. You will instantly find out that when doing so, the engine will stop working when it's running on a low voltage as 12 volts. That's because tiny amounts of stresses left to right, up and down in every direction will block the setup working efficiency. And with a little bit power put into it, a little bit of stress will stop the engine. So what you should do, and you must do, is tighten every bolt and see what the engine does. If it quits, put a uh, washer under it or a washer on like so, so you can make little adjustments. So only tighten the bolts when it's rotating. When, uh, when you tighten the bolt and it stops, you know you do something wrong. So you can prevent uh, when you're finished that the whole uh, setup is blocked. I tightened every bolt right now and still the engine is rotating on the low voltage. And very important too, I connected 
the upper axle into the lower axle with some rubber in between but you must block it put uh, uh, something through it so the axles won't slip into the rubber when this eventually will happen with low tension also or else you will have the same effect over here well this is the setup finalized don't forget to uh, put him in back into the in the oil so you have to mount it at your wall or in the case make sure that the lubrication inside the original casing is still being used over here so you have to place it back I'm now going to connect it to 48 volts direct current let's have a look over here like so here's an amp meter and this is uh, well I recommend you this setup for if you want to work uh, with a compressor with high power long term use on a lower voltage that is safe because it doesn't cost anything and yet it does a well job, uh, job at performing so here goes at 48 volts the sound is cool at this stage it's using 1.8 amps and when I hold it back we've got fine pressure this is about 10 bar while the engine is still having enough speed and the current ain't that high only 3 amps with a continuous pressure of 10 bars with this speed so this is really a recognition of a recommender to build for yourself when you want to have a compressor at a low voltage and in this case 48 volt direct current well thank you